I'm Brent Bacla, one of the software developers on this distance learning system, Big Blue Button, and I just want to briefly introduce you to some of the features of the Big Blue Button system that you'll be using for your training class today. So first of all, I'm uh, in full screen video mode. I can get out of that these uh, buttons in the upper right hand corner with this X. This is the, these are the full screen buttons on a Big Blue Button. So this is what you'll typically see when you come in. You might have a, a you know, browser window with a video in it perhaps. Um, these three buttons to the upper right hand corner of the, uh, the browser uh, window here, there is a full screen, a number of full screen options. This one will make it full screen so you can still see all the controls. It just makes the, uh, just makes the browser tabs and uh, the URL bar go away so you can still see all of your controls. Um, this is your mute button you here, the muted. left one here. You are now unmuted. Um, this one will completely disconnect your audio. You won't be able to hear or speak if you clicked that. Um, there are a couple of times, mainly if you have multiple devices connected, um, it is possible, like say, to connect your cell phone. I'll sometimes go upstairs or in class and be listening to the class while I'm making a cup of coffee. Um, or if you have a dual monitor set up, that'd be another time you might want to have two windows open on the class, and uh, you get a lot of feedback if you had multiple audios open. So sometimes you do want to disconnect the audio, but not too often. The third button is your webcam. Uh, click this to turn on and off your webcam sharing. Um, on the left side, you'll see you got this user button, this little person icon here. If you open this, you'll see first of all a list of uh, participants in the, the session. Uh, you also have a, a public chat window here and uh, uh, some shared notes. The shared notes are typically where the instructor will list instructions for uh, carrying out lab assignments in, in the class. The shared notes are fairly important. Um, let's see, uh, you'll typically have a, a shared desktop this is uh, something that uh, a nice feature of this system. This is a fully interactive desktop. You'll be able to uh, click on this and um, open up, for example, Chrome. You'll probably be using mostly Chrome, the Chromium web browser here. And you can see it's getting a little bit um, tight in terms of screen real estate. So probably once you start getting into the interactive lab work, you'll probably want to uh, shut off your uh, your webcam by clicking this. Uh, there it goes away, okay. Um, and you'll see actually um, this didn't quite resize right. Um, it should have gotten bigger to take up to get, you know, pick up the screen real estate. If it does that, you can take the uh, remote desktop full screen with you know another full screen button here. This is just for the desktop. Um, this is useful if you have um, multiple monitors. You might want to put the desktop full screen on one monitor, but of course then you can no longer get to your audio controls. You can no longer see the shared note instructions. So I'm going to take that back and you see now it, uh, it, it sized it correctly. So uh, maybe we can't really make this any smaller. Okay. Well, yeah, we can make it. It's just as small as possible. And uh, again, in and out of full screen mode to get the thing to resize right. This is probably, if you only have a single monitor, this will be your most reasonable configuration to see your lab instructions here um, and work on your your desktop here. Uh, inside, the, I mean, this is a full remote desktop on the training system, so you have, you know, terminal windows, um, but mostly you'll be using the web browser. These three buttons here, there is a full screen, but well, okay, first of all, you can go here to maximize like that, but you can even get rid of this bar by going here and selecting this full screen option. So this is probably the uh, most reasonable. First of all, I think you probably want to, let's go up here and move to the top, get out of that. You probably want to actually go to the, uh, the training system itself, which you do need to type HTTPS. So here's, here's the uh, login window for the training system. Once you get to this point, now would be a good time to take this on to this full screen. Now this is uh, a good way to, uh, to operate the um, uh, the training session here. You have your lab instructions here and your remote desktop here. Okay, um, 
what else? Size in Chromium. Oh, um, if, for example, you find, I mean, right now I can probably type here, but if you can, if you find your keyboard doesn't have focus, click. Just click. It, it's, it's not real obvious at times when you have keyboard focus in the remote desktop. So if you just um, you can't see your mouse or you don't have keyboard input, just click. Click to focus. Um, if it doesn't size right, just come in and out of full screen mode. Um, and uh, chat mode, this is another one. If it sometimes it doesn't scroll right, it's still pre release software. Just click over to shared notes and come back to public chat, and that should clear up any scrolling problems you have with, uh, with public chat. And I think that is just about all I want to cover. I'll go back here and, uh, well, maybe not. And just say, I hope you enjoy your training class and uh, have a good time. I ask your instructor if you have any additional uh, questions about how the system works.